An armed resident bravely defended their house from an arrogant burglar. Police say it was the homeowner who shot and killed him. Yeah, DD, police say that no charges have been filed against the homeowner, but they are working with the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office to determine an appropriate crime. We thought this was a really nice, safe area when we moved here. This typically quiet Lake Forest Park neighborhood was rattled by gunfire Wednesday afternoon around 1.30. Police say 37-year-old Cameron Nakata allegedly kicked in the door of a home in an attempted burglary. According to police, the homeowner then called 911, and when the suspect came at him, he shot him multiple times, killing him. Sparking havoc in the serene community of Lake Forest Park, Washington, where serenity prevails and crime seems like a distant past. This unsettling warning that danger may unexpectedly enter even the safest neighborhoods comes from the unforeseen confrontation of law and anarchy. At this point, the homeowner is not facing charges, but that could change. Let's jump right into the rewind. A burglar was fatally shot by a resident of a home in Lake Forest Park Wednesday afternoon, according to the Lake Forest Park Police Department. At about 1.30 p.m., Police officers responded to a report of a house burglary in the hillside neighborhood. Lake Forest Park, Washington's peaceful neighborhoods were renowned for their beautiful scenery, welcoming neighbors, and constant sense of security. This suburban haven was the personification of the perfect American dream, tucked away in the calm of nature. But on a fateful afternoon, the facade of tranquility was shattered when an armed citizen came face to face with a burglar frantically trying to break into their house. A white picket fence enclosed a well-kept lawn, and the garden walk was lined with vibrant flowers. Mark Stevens, a middle-aged guy who had established his life and family in this tight-knit neighborhood, lived here. Mark was a staunch supporter of the legal right to responsible gun ownership, but he never in a million years thought he'd have to use his skills in the comfort of his own house. Sarah, Mark's wife, and their two children, Emily and James, had departed for a family vacation to the neighboring lake as the afternoon light painted the neighborhood in golden tones. Mark had chosen to stay behind since he needed to catch up on some personal work, and he was enjoying the peace and quiet of their home. He had no idea that an unexpected danger lay just beyond the peace. Kevin Thompson had been searching the neighborhood for an easy victim since he was desperate and at his wits. He had decided to take matters into his own hands since he was struggling financially and was drawn in by the allure of material wealth. When a succession of loud thuds resounded throughout the home, Mark was distracted from his job and startled from his focus, his heart thumping in his chest. He hurried instinctively toward the commotion. As he entered the hallway, the scene in front of him gave him chills. A large man kicking at the front door with great force wore a ski mask and black apparel. The air was filled with the sound of broken hinges and splintered wood. Although fear grabbed Mark's heart, his training and instincts kicked in. He sprinted to his bedroom, where he kept his treasured possession, a properly licensed firearm without pausing for a second. The excitement pumped through his veins making the seconds seem like a lifetime. Mark claimed himself as he retrieved his pistol, knowing that the security of his family depended on his ability to deal with this unauthorized invader. Mark hid behind a neighboring dresser, his pulse beating as the invader began his unrelenting attack on the door. He inhaled deeply, letting his training direct him at every step. He was aware of the seriousness of the situation and the potential repercussions of his actions, but his commitment to defend his family kept him from backing down. The door eventually gave up to the intruder's unrelenting assault after an audible smash. He stormed inside the home in a fit of adrenaline, oblivious to the danger that awaited him. The intruder locked eyes with Mark for a duration that seemed like forever. Time halted as they evaluated one another while both were aware of the risks involved. The moment the invader saw Mark with his weapon lifted and prepared to defend his house and loved ones, his eyes widened in shock and panic. The intruder quickly moved, lunging at Mark to overwhelm him as if directed by an invisible force. Within a split second, Mark's preparation accelerated. His finger quickly squeezed the trigger as he reacted, filling the room with a loud gunshot crack. Time appeared to slow down as the bullet connected with the invader, wounding him in the shoulder. His face twisted in pain and disbelief as his body slumped. Only the intruder's agonized cries and the ringing in Mark's ears could be heard above the weird quiet that engulfed the space. A mixture of feelings, including relief, dread, and a deep sense of grief for the harrowing circumstances that had brought about this unfortunate meeting, began to replace the adrenaline pumping through Mark's veins. As Mark walked upward to the downed invader, his shaking hands dropped the pistol, 
and his heart was filled with pity and caution. The injured man's gaze fixed on Mark, his face a tangled tapestry of suffering and despair. Mark promptly called emergency services, his voice trembling as he described the situation and asked for immediate medical aid after realizing the seriousness of his actions. He leaned against a nearby wall as the phone call ended feeling too much to bear. The neighborhood was overrun by police and ambulance sirens in minutes. The once quiet cul-de-sac suddenly became a hub of activity as police cars lined the streets and worried neighbors peeked out of their windows to understand what was happening. Mark testified while surrounded by police officers and described what happened inside his house. While considering the conditions that led to Mark's actions, the police conducted a careful investigation to ensure the occurrence adhered to the rules of self-defense. Days quickly stretched into weeks as word of the tragedy spread. While some commended Mark for his courage and dedication to defending his family, others questioned the place of weapons in modern society. The event generated contentious discussions across the nation and on regional news channels. The justice system accepted Mark's conduct as an acceptable instance of self-defense. He was happy to be exonerated of all allegations, but the emotional scars never completely healed. Mark couldn't help but wonder how the invader had found their tranquil neighborhood and what dire circumstances had caused him to take such drastic actions. Investigators said that the tenant heard a loud commotion that turned out to be someone kicking through his door. He said he attempted to flee and enter his bedroom, but was forced to shoot the suspect instead. Police tried to save the culprit once they arrived, but he passed away. The suspect was a known acquaintance of the tenant and had previously committed trespassing, according to the police. The inquiry is still underway. According to the police, the burglar was shot after breaking into the house. A corpse was observed at the doorway. Then came everyone else, the police and the forensics. It was a lot. A neighbor who is acquainted with the home's inhabitant, Kelsey Cravens, told the publication, It's quite scary. We moved here thinking it was a pretty good, safe neighborhood. Therefore, it worries me. According to the King County Medical Examiner's Office, the suspect, 37-year-old Cameron Nakata, died from several gunshot wounds, according to a story in the Seattle Times. Residents must act proactively to improve safety measures and safeguard their homes and loved ones in the wake of the distressing occurrence in which an armed resident in Lake Forest Park, Washington, had to defend their house from a thief. You may spend money on a dependable home security system with components like motion detectors, video cameras, and alarm systems. These technologies can serve as deterrents and offer possible hazard early warning. Likewise, add metal or solid core doors, reinforced frames, and deadbolt locks to your doors and windows to fortify them. To deter simple break-ins, think about installing window security film or laminates. Strengthening access points may make it harder for intruders to break in. To prevent robbers, outside illumination must be adequate. Install motion-activated lights all over the outside of your building, particularly close to the entrances. It is less appealing for criminals to approach your home unnoticed in well-lit regions. Don't forget to start a neighborhood watch program with your neighbors. A safer community may be considerably enhanced through regular communication, diligent observation and reporting of questionable activity. Keep your valuables safely concealed or kept away, including jewelry, critical papers, and devices. This lessens the likelihood of a loss and deters criminals. The event served as a sad reminder to Lake Forest Park's locals that safety and security are not guaranteed even in the most tranquil neighborhoods. It brought home the necessity to build a feeling of community that extends beyond white picket fences and in blossoming flowers, as well as the need for alertness readiness, and those things. The incident changed Mark and his family's image of their once safe refuge for all time. The white picket fence, which had previously represented security, now served as a stark reminder of how fleeting calm can be. They resolved to reestablish the broken sense of security in their hearts, but they found comfort in the help of their neighbors and the tenacity of their spirits. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news of crimes daily. Remember that swift reporting can stop crimes from happening again and shield others from peril. If you want to watch other crime and self-defense videos like this, follow the video links on your screen.